I think Samsung makes better smartwatches than Apple, and I hate iPhones. Did you know that you can also use the Shortcuts app right on your Apple Watch? You can save a lot of time thanks to the Shortcuts app on your wrist. As you probably know, Shortcuts is a free visual scripting app developed by Apple that allows users to create and run predefined actions based on different scenarios. Instead of manually executing actions on your Apple Watch or iPhone, you can combine them into one shortcut and run it in one tab. I'm using some of my shortcuts on my Apple Watch and it helps me to reduce my iPhone usage, which is definitely a good thing. Training today score. Your training today score is 2.4. VO2 max level. 49.98 49.79. Information source. A higher VO2 max indicates a higher level of cardio health and endurance. Lower VO2 indicates a higher risk of heart diseases and poor health condition. H. 41 equals poor chart with downwards trend. 4145 equals good check checkbox. 4551 equals excellent check mark. 51 equals athlete chart with upwards trend. To measure your VO2 max, walk or run with your watch. For at least 20 minutes, man doctor. Shopping assistant. Question mark. Add new item. Question mark. Bananas. Shopping assistant. Question mark. Open list. You can do so many small tasks right on your wrist without even touching your iPhone. In this video, I will show you the best custom-made shortcuts for watchOS. As always, download links for my shortcuts will be available in the description of this video, so you can download and use them for free on your Apple Watch or iPhone. Enjoy! But before starting the actual video, I just want to make sure you hit that subscribe button and activate notifications for all my future videos. I would really appreciate your support. If you want to run your shortcuts on the Apple Watch, first, you have to make sure that your shortcuts are properly synchronized. Long press on the shortcut you want to use on the watch. Tap Details and check Show on Apple Watch. Sometimes it takes a few minutes before the shortcut will be visible on your Apple Watch. If you want to rearrange shortcuts on your Apple Watch, go to the Apple Watch folder in the Shortcuts app, long press on the shortcut you want to move and change the order. Number 1. Always on Display Assistant. This shortcut allows you to quickly adjust always on display settings. Always on display is a very power consuming feature and sometimes it's just better to disable it or at least disable wake on wrist option because anyway time and complications are still visible on the screen of your watch without raising your wrist. There is really no need to wake the screen every time you want to check the current time. This shortcut will help you to save battery life while still using the always on display. So you are not disabling this feature, you are adjusting it to your needs. When you run this shortcut, you'll see three options. On green check mark enables everything, the always on display and wake on wrist. On gray check mark enables always on display, but turns off wake on wrist option. Off turns off the always on display, but turns on the wake on wrist option. Hope you got the idea. Number 2. Weather Report The weather app on the Apple Watch is beautiful, but not very informative. If you want to quickly get a really detailed weather report, you can use my weather report shortcut. Every time you run the shortcut, it will get your current location and show you very detailed information about the current weather conditions, like current temperature, temperature levels, wind speed, precipitation chance, precipitation amount, humidity level, UV index, pressure, air quality, and even air pollutants, if you wish. I like this shortcut because it gives me a quick overview of the current weather conditions, for example, when I'm going on a long run. With just one tap, I can see all the relevant information and adjust my clothes to the current weather. For me, it works better than the weather app. Sometimes simple things are just better. Number 3. Shopping Assistant This shortcut allows you to quickly create and view your grocery or shopping list right on your watch without any third-party apps. I'm using my Apple Watch to add 
all the necessary items I have to purchase before going to my local grocery store. It allows me to avoid purchasing unnecessary things. This shortcut is so handy. I can even leave my iPhone at home. I can just raise my wrist and check my grocery list. To start using this shortcut and adding items, you have to create an additional reminder list and call it a shopping list or something like that. Then long press on the shortcut on your iPhone and tap edit. Find the action called add provided input to and select your new reminder list. Now every new item will be added to that list. You can use it on your Apple Watch or on your iPhone, it works on both. I absolutely love this shortcut because it's so simple and useful. You can even use Siri to add new items. Simply raise your wrist and say, Siri, shopping assistant. Question mark. Add new item. Question mark. Bananas. Shopping assistant. Question mark. Open list. Number 4. Training Today Score. This is a must-have shortcut for everyone who is actively exercising or doing some sports activities using Apple Watch. You can launch this shortcut manually or ask Siri by saying, Hey Siri, Training Today Score. The shortcut will give you your training readiness level. This shortcut uses your health data from your Apple Watch and based on your heart rate, HRV level and other parameters, it can establish your fitness readiness level. I should admit it's pretty accurate. It may range from 0 to 10. 0 is the lowest level, which means you are tired and your body needs some rest. Ranging from 4 to 6 means you have to listen to your body and exercise without making too much effort. Ranging from 8 to 10 means you are fully juiced and you can push hard and train as a beast. Using this shortcut requires installing a free Training Today app. The link for this app will be in the description of this video. Mini Safari is a very handy shortcut that allows you to have a real Safari web browser right on your wrist. This shortcut is super simple. It uses a built-in web kit into the watchOS. It allows you to open websites or use Google search. It's super handy, especially when you want to quickly search for some information on the go. You don't even need to touch your iPhone. Of course, web browsing on the Apple Watch is not the best experience because the screen is really small, although technically it is possible. So check it out. I remember a long time ago I used this shortcut to cheat on exams. I was able to google any question and I became the number one student at my university. Although I don't encourage anyone to cheat on exams. Of course, it's a bad thing and I'll probably go to hell for doing that. Number 6. Siesta. The siesta shortcut is made for people who like to take a nap. When you run the shortcut, it will automatically set a timer for 32 minutes, just enough to make a short break without going into a deep sleep stage. It will also immediately set a do not disturb mode, so you will not be bothered by useless notifications or phone calls. By the way, taking a short break in your day can significantly boost your productivity. Try it out. You can of course run the shortcut using Siri. Just say Siri, siesta, and she will do the job for you. Number 7. Start Pomodoro. Today we are constantly distracted by useless notifications, emails and phone calls. Not only on the iPhone, but also on the Apple Watch. Concentrating on one task for at least 30 minutes might be a huge challenge for some people, like me for example. For this purpose, there is a Pomodoro shortcut. The Pomodoro technique is a simple time management method based on 25-minute stretches of focused work, broken by 5-minute breaks. Longer breaks, typically 15 to 30 minutes, are taken after 4 consecutive work intervals. Like other shortcuts on your Apple Watch, you can ask Siri to run it for you. Just raise your wrist and say, hey Siri, start Pomodoro. First, she will ask you for how much time you would like to stay concentrated. I'm usually working on 60 minute stretches followed by 10 minute breaks. Then it will launch a timer for this amount of time. And it will set your devices in do not disturb mode for this period of time. If you never tried the Pomodoro technique for staying productive, try it out, it might help you. Number 8. Translator Bot AI. If you are reading books or articles in foreign language and you find an unknown word or phrase, 
you can use this tiny translator shortcut right on your wrist. This shortcut is a powerful tool that automatically identifies the input language. You can even choose whether you want to translate text from your clipboard, if you are running it using iPhone, or write down your own text or word. Then it will ask you into which language you would like to translate. Next, this shortcut will provide you with the translation result and automatically copy it to the clipboard, so you will be able to instantly paste the translation result into any app of your choice. If you have your favorite language to translate to, for example English or German, I mean your native language, you can adjust the shortcut and it will no longer be asking you every time into which language you would like to translate to. Long press on the shortcut, tap edit, click on to, clear variable, then select your language. Do the same for the clipboard part. After doing that, the translation will work even faster, it will automatically identify the input language and translate your selection into your favorite language. I just love using this shortcut when reading books in foreign languages. Why should I use my iPhone to translate one word if I can use my Apple Watch, right? Number 9. HRV Level HRV is a measure of the variation in time between each heartbeat. This variation is controlled by a primitive part of the nervous system. Reduced HRV is a sign of fatigue. Your Apple Watch can measure your HRV level. Actually, it already measures it all the time, throughout the day, but doesn't really show you this information on your watch. Thanks to my shortcut, you'll be able to check your HRV level right on your wrist. Just run the shortcut and you will see your latest HRV level. Next, the shortcut will explain to you what is HRV and what your numbers means. Usually a higher HRV level indicates a better health and physical condition. So if you're actively training, this information can help you adjust the intensity of your workout. You can also follow your morning HRV to get information about your sleep quality and overall health state. To manually measure your HRV level, use the mindfulness app on your Apple Watch and breathe for at least one minute. 43.6673 3555904828 HRV is measure of the variation in time between each heartbeat. This variation is controlled by a primitive part of the nervous system. Reduced HRV is a sign of fatigue. 50 equals low purple heart. 5100 equals fair blue heart. 100 equals good green heart. To measure latest HRV man doctor, comma, open mindfulness app, comma, breathe man in lotus position. Number 10. VO2 max level. VO2 level measures how much oxygen your body can use for aerobic activities like running for example. A higher VO2 index indicates a higher level of cardiac health and endurance. Lower VO2 indicates a higher risk of heart disease and potentially poor health condition. Again, your Apple Watch constantly measures your VO2 level, but unfortunately you cannot check this data by default on your Apple Watch. Thanks to my shortcut, you can check your VO2 max level after each running session and see how your cardio health is changing. To measure your VO2 level, walk or run for at least 30 minutes with your Apple Watch in workout mode. Then run my shortcut and you will see your latest measure of VO2 level. Then run my shortcut and you will see your latest measurement of VO2 level. Of course, the VO2 level is different for every age. The older you are, the lower your VO2 max level will be. That's why after displaying your metrics, my shortcut will ask you to choose your age range and you will be able to better understand your cardio health according to your age. If you start exercising on a regular basis, you will see your VO2 max level increase. By the way, I'm really surprised that Apple Watch does not have a full health app like on the iPhone. There is of course a standard fitness app, but it does not give you any in-depth information about your health trends. I'm currently building a full health assistance shortcut that will allow you to access and view your health metrics right on your Apple Watch, so subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to get it. Guys, that's all for today. If you like this video and you like shortcuts, check out my other videos on that topic. I made a whole series of videos about the shortcuts on iPhone and Apple Watch, and even a full tutorial to teach you how to make your own shortcuts. The link will be provided in the description. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.